me on my grandma's <laughs> For those that don't understand what's going on in this video, that's a little girl rubbing an egg on her doll. A common practice among some to ward off el mal de ojo, or the evil eye. This practice, like so many others that we attribute to Mexican culture, goes further back than that. It's pre-conquest, indigenous. The same goes for the red string around the wrist or on the forehead, as well as el Dia de los Muertos. This too is ancient and predates colonialism. Now I had an uncle who had the Virgen de Guadalupe tattooed on his back. The Virgen de Guadalupe is a Catholic perversion of the indigenous earth mother goddess Tonantzin. The Virgen de Guadalupe was used as a means to indoctrinate and assimilate indigenous savages into the Catholic religion. These things, like so many others, come by way of the ancestors. You know, when I was a kid, I used to call my father Tata. Do you know this is Nawa for Papa? There are so many things that have been lost to us in plain sight. The language, like words like comal, mocajete, cacahuate, ojolote, foods like atole, mole, pozole. There are so many things that we attribute to Mexican culture that are in fact indigenous to ours. My only reason for making these videos is to help my people reconnect to that which was lost, to pick up the pieces of their own existence and recognize them for what they are. That which the colonizer could not eradicate, they tried to assimilate. The killing fields of indigenous people became a melting pot for all. Well, I, for one, refused to melt. And for those of you that refuse to melt also, pick up the remnants of your past and take pride in that which you are. Because although our ancestors could not stop that which came, the descendants of those cannot stop what is to come. Yo, Mitch Panseco, Tlo, Dishpa, y saludos y respetos, Bobble. Greetings to all my gente. Hopefully, everybody's having a good day. With that say, hey, what can I say? Welcome to Hood Wise, homie. My name is Manny. I'm the Jaguar Man. Chugusto, Erm. And she, welcome home. Those of you who are just driving by home, this is a channel where we make homies, we don't break them. You know, it's all about lacing up the youth, our gente, and hey, for all my Chicanos, all my gente out there, remember this, you deserve better. We're on the rise. Chicanos taking over. Mexicanos, Mexica, Cuba. My day ones, gracias for the support, for the comments, for the likes, and keep on sharing the channel, homie, because we're going to grow. Little by little, small bites, you know? My day ones, I know the, the ritual, homie, kick up your feet, kick up that chorrito, get your feet on, kick back, relax, and take it away, homie. So, today we're gonna talk about the evil eye, el ojo de mal. How many of you have heard about the evil eye? Hey, in a Mexican household, if you Mexican, most likely you heard of it, you laughed at it, you probably seen your grandma uh, picking up an egg and flying it all over the air, all around <laughs> your little sister's or brother's body. Yeah, you probably tripped out like, ay wey, abuelita, what the hell are you doing with that huevo? Híjole, just when you thought things were getting normal, huh? <laughs> well, if you don't know about the libo lie, homie, today, I'll give you a quick little rundown on it. Believe it or not, the evil eye goes way back to our ancestors, the Aztecas, the indigenous gente. They have their point of view. Of course, some people say that it's witchcraft. Some people say it's not. Well, let's kind of uh, learn from one another. They say iron sharpens iron. It says the evil eye, man. The superstition of El Mal del Ojo, the evil eye, or Cacasichi in Mayan, is believed throughout Mexico. However, each religion has its own talismans and cures. The idea of the evil eye is not unique to Mexico, and proof of these superstitions go back to over a thousand years. Specifically, writings to the philosopher Plato in Greece. It was originally based on envy. One could um, curse or bewitch through a certain look or sound of the voice. The haters. The fucking haters. One, we can find similar superstitions of the evil life throughout the Middle East and Europe. 
too. According to Mexican and traditional medicinal studies, el mal del ojo is believed to cause sickness from the transfer of negative energy from one person to one other. See, there's a lot to this. Stay tuned. It's getting good. Making others sick simply through intense looks, whether they are voluntary or not. Mayan of the Yucatan Peninsula have their own specific beliefs of how one prevents contracts and is cured from el ojo del mal. See? And it's crazy how one look or a few looks could make you feel some type of way. And I heard stories. I have heard stories of uh, different people uh, comment on different things. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to share a couple with you. But uh, before we do, let's finish up this quick little article. What causes the evil eye in the Yucatan Peninsula? In this region of Maya culture in southern Mexico, it's believed that the evil eye affects babies and young children where it look can be so negatively heavy or strong that babies and young children aren't resilient enough to repel it, to vulnerable. The threat of El Ojo is especially pre prevalent during the month of November during or Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, because there's a fear that the babies could be taken away by the spirits of the dead who return from the spiritual world. Believe in the region of the indigenous Maya is that the evil eye can cause a baby or a young child to get sick by the look or contact from many different circumstances. The most common reason they could get El ojo or the evil eye is if an angry or drunk person looks at or passes close by the child. In addition to El ojo can be given by a person who is caloros, meaning that they are overheated from working out in the hot sun or cooking over the hot fire. It could also be caused by mal which comes with someone returning from, from working out in the milpa, small plot farm. In the Monte the Low Brush Jungle and brings the Monte air to the child. Other beliefs in Maya communities in Tana Ru are someone cues a baby without picking them up or touching them marks a cross the baby's forehead. Or from someone who had been to a cemetery in Hatton Bath. Some also believe it can from a person who hasn't had breakfast or from a pregnant woman to repel the evil eye. In Yucatan Peninsula, the talisman that most people of the region use to prevent el mal del ojo is a red string bracelet tied around the right hand of babies and young children. It's believed that the child should keep the string on until they're old enough to speak well in order to ward off the negative energy in some areas of the peninsula a seed called el ojo de venado or the deer's eye is sewed into red string bracelet when the color of the seed changes from the light brown to dark brown the seed has lost its strength and needs to be replaced with the new one there are different beliefs in the yucatan peninsula and among the indigenous maya communities Regarding why the string needs to be red, one is that the color red is potent, alluring color and the forceful negative energy gets attracted to it like a magnet, enabling the red color to absorb the negativity. Others believe that the color represents life and fire, and when the bad spirit sees it, it's repelled. Additional actions are used to ward off el ojo del mal, the evil lie such as putting the child's underwear on inside out, putting a diaper in the child's hammock when they are asleep, placing two matches or shoes underneath their hammock in the sign of the cross, or an uncommon method of even rubbing the child with the dirty underwear of their father. <laughs> <laughs> I weigh. Fuck, todo cagado. Ooh, we. Ooh, gee. Damn, shit, I bet no evil spirit is going to get close to that. <laughs> Symptoms of um, cures of an evil lie. When a baby or a young child gets a lojo, they have green bowel movements, diarrhea, a fever. One eye looks smaller than the other, and the child is restless, cries like crazy, and doesn't sleep. When a baby comes down with these symptoms, many parents immediately take their child to a conventional doctor. What? 
they find is that modern day medicines don't work and their child continues to be sick spiritual warfare spiritual world in order to determine if a child has an evil eye curanderos traditional mayan doctors pass an uncracked egg all around the body the sick child then break the egg in water and alcohol depending on how the egg reacts this allows them to see if the child has el mal de ojo the evil eye if the test comes up positive, the curanderos use different plants to limpiar, clean the mal aire or bad air, usually using a mixture based on basil. They also create a mixture of herbs for a child to be bad or bathe in, occasionally using boiled marijuana and cane alcohol. Ay, wey, marijuana. <laughs> Bien loco, huh? These cures have proven time and again to be effective. Many have stories of babies dying from a lojo because the parents didn't take their sick child to a curandero. The day of the day in the Mayan communities of the peninsula, traditionally celebrated throughout November. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. A quick little report on the evil eye. If you believe in it or not, uh, whether you wear an evil eye, pendant, or bracelet, it is up to you and does not make any difference. Whatever symbol you decide on, know that it will bring good luck and safety to the person that wears the evil eye. So people say that if you wear a bracelet, you know the eye, if someone does hate on you or give you that bad look or whatever, it returns it back to them. There you go. Voila! Oh, shit. <laughs> a lot of people don't believe in it they think that it's nonsense people that believe in god religion uh call it evil they call it witchcraft there's people that believe in god and still practice the little egg because it's real man it's real i witnessed it myself and i've seen it myself i have a cousin she uh, very beautiful very pretty one day, uh, they were having a quinceanera. I forgot what it was. A big party. A bunch of family members were there. She happened to walk in the party. And she was wearing a beautiful dress. She has beautiful, light, long hair down to her butt. Beautiful eyes. You know, she was looking bomb. Straight diva. Straight, straight model. Everybody at the party turned around and was just staring at her. Men, women, wow. old ladies, young ladies. Older men, young men, I mean, everybody. And she caught that like, whoa, amongst men, maybe there was desire. Uh, women, there was hate, envy, like, wow, she's too beautiful. So that right there, she said that she walked in, said hi to a few people, but felt kind of out of place. She went into the kitchen, saw her sister. Immediately, she got a big headache. She started feeling like shit. She left. She left the party. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to drink her her michi, have some birria. Anyhow, so I guess the next day she was sharing with her sister, her mom, what had happened, how she felt, and they did the egg on her, the little prayer, I guess, that it comes with the little egg, and uh, she felt much better with the prayer, and I guess they put the egg in a cup. I don't know if they used marijuana or alcohol, but a prayer was part of the healing or cleansing and she said she felt much better and looking at the egg you could see a bunch of little eyes like you see it i've seen it myself you see a bunch of little bubbles little bubbles around so that's pretty much the evil eye the envy the hate people looking at you you could be probably ugly you could be so beautiful but people just by looking at you and staring at you they already passed that that energy it's amazing how us humans have that energy, you know, whether good or bad, positive or negative, energy could be felt. Oh, some of you have been around a moody person, you could feel that negativity, that, that fucking comfortable mood, you know, just being next to them. And, and it's contagious sometimes. But then, hey, Taco Tuesday, you're next to a happy motherfucker. Just fucking guys, EBT. Man, motherfucker's happy. So whatever floats your boat, homie, you got your EBT, fuck it. Hey, you're going to treat? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, you know what? The, the mood is contagious. He's happy. The energy. You feel me? Anyways, so the spiritual world is real, man. Believe it or not, there's good out there. Just like there's good, there's evil. And, uh... 
Just thought I'd share with you guys this uh, evil lie thing and about the egg because I came across this video and it was just funny how this little girl was just rubbing that egg around like nothing. Then I have this very, very uh, intellectual individual that I follow on TikTok and I thought maybe I could share some of his wisdom. Porque ya sabes, homie, aquí we lace each other up. We keep it hood, homie, but at the same time, we use our cabeza wisely, you know? Anyhow, so if you didn't know, now you know, homie, about the evil eye, the egg. Some people think it's evil, it's 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 witchcraft and all that. Hey, maybe in a, in a following video, I could share why they think that it's evil or witchcraft. Or maybe you could let me know on the comment section if it's really evil or witchcraft. If you know about the egg or know anyone that does prayers, or let me know. Drop me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed on me, what you waiting on, dog? Por favor, get that button going, dog. Because every now and then, I'm dropping spills. Right here, we talk a little bit of everything, dog. We know the inside, the outside, the calles, the conspiracies, government, uh, world politics. We leave the prison politics alone because that's not none of our business. It's a whole different world. It feels good to be free. And hey, homie, ya sabe, a drug-free mind is always sharp. So stay clean, homie. Keep your head up. Hope you enjoy the video. So with that said, homie, mucho gusto. And hey, I'll see you on the next one, homie. That said, I'm Manny, the Jaguar man. This is Hood Wise. That's it. Throw it up, homie. Hood Wise.